Sincerity. Sincerity. The quality of being free from pretense, deceit, or hypocrisy. I want to give all praises. Let me say Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Call Halala Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Bracha Kodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders here in Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, just here to do a quick lesson again. Lord willing, I pray is edifying to those of the hopeful elect. I want to touch on the word sincerity. You know, it's all throughout the scriptures. And uh, sincerity is an attribute, a trait that the Lord's hopeful. Let me say the Lord's hopeful elect has. All right. Let me, as a matter of fact, the elect, the elect. All right. We say hopeful elect because we're hoping to be a part of that number that Yahweh Shai is going to deliver on this side. So the elect, all right, have the attribute of sincerity, meaning they truly believe, all right, in the word and gospel of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and they act accordingly. Sincerity is something you can't teach. It has to be in you, like faith. According to Ephesians 2 and 8, faith is a gift, a gift from the Most High. If you're serious-minded about this truth, you know, you will be sincere in your walk in this truth. And that's just not, you know, showing before men. You know, that's, you know, you being sincere when the inward part of man, because you're out, because the scriptures say that too. The Heavenly Father looked within the inward part of man. He was talking to Samuel when he said that. He said he looked within the inward part of man. All right? Meaning... The Lord reads the minds of, of, of all of us. And he knows if that man or woman is sincere or not. So not, you know, sincerity is really got to be in you from the most high. All right. And you show that to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai week in and week out daily. You know, even when the camera's off. You know, we supposed to be, you know, pleasing Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? And not just want to be seen of men. You got a lot of examples out here in the different camps that are examples of hypocrites. That are not sincere. And why they're not sincere? Because it shows they remix the doctrine. They uh, add, they take away. You know, they boast of, of money. You know, a lot of these camps, so let me say one camp in particular, IUIC, they call us Brothers Hand Great Millstone. They refer to us as the Bummelites. They call us bum, call us bums, because we don't look fancy as they do and all organized as an organization, you know? And that's not the way the scriptures say to be, you know? The scriptures don't tell us to be uh, government organized. We're organized through order, all right? Which is through the faith and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, not by the government or Esau's model or method of organizing or organize. You know, you know when you take Esau route, you know, prepare to uh, to have holes, you know, in your in your chain, so to say. You know, have uh, uh, how you say it, Salakia. Prepare to have um, uh, missing links, you know, inside of your chain. Basically, that chain is not sturdy. It's not. It's not firm. You know, it can easily break with the right crisis. You know, the right pressure. And our foundation is upon Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. Okay, which is through faith. We understand this, this, the truth, the sincere, the the the, the truth, the um, what's the scripture say? Verily, the seriousness of this of this thing we in. Okay. Understanding that we the Hebrew Israelites were the chosen people of the Most High. Alright, so it's a certain way you have to act. And this goes for uh, all Israelites. You know, all Israelites. Because it's one thing about knowing you're an Israelite. And it's another thing about knowing you're an Israelite but being, but doing what the Israelites supposed to do. So bear with me one second. Alright, so, you know, like I was saying... Is that uh, 
you know you want to be sincere in this thing and this goes for all israelites because it's like i said before it's one thing of knowing and it's then it's another thing of actually doing you don't want to just be a hearer of the word but a doer of the word you know you know this also comes with the uh the spirit of fear in yahweh bashimi i was shy when you hear the word you know because when yahweh bashimi i was shy uh word go out through his prophets and you're hearing and you're listening, you're comparing yourself, you know, or you're judging yourself to see whether you are of the most high or not, you know? And the things that you are doing that's off, you hear it, you correct it, meaning you repent because you have that fear in Yahweh Bashim Yahshah. That comes with that attribute of sincerity that's attached. Just like works and faith, it's attached to each other. If you have faith, you're going to have works. Okay? So certain things are just attached. You know, the Lord gives his elect uh, those ingredients, you know, to make a, a fine dish, uh, a, you know, a, a, a very delicious dish, alkaline dish. You know, the Lord gives you that, gives you those ingredients, you know, the right spices. And that's what he did for his elect. They have the right spices. So they have the right conduct, which is uh, behavior. They have the right attitude. And if they don't know, they're going to learn to know. Because of that sincerity and that fear that they have in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? They're going to want to do better. The scriptures say, um, uh, um, be ye perfect. Right? We're supposed to strive for perfection. You know, none of us are perfect. Nor could we be perfect in sinful flesh, but we can strive. All right, you can strive. There's no excuses. You know, every year that you're still living and knowing that you're an Israelite, you should want to be a better man or a better a woman in the Lord. All right, a better man and a better woman. Everybody uh, want to make more money each year. You know, they got goals in this world. You know, everybody want to make more money. Yeah, we need money to live. And unfortunately, you know, it sucks, you know, that, you know, but the Lord said, look, just pray for your daily bread, you know, get by. You know, everybody wants to be comfortable, but do you really want to be comfortable in hell? Because now you're going to be weak in the spirit when you're comfortable in that way, getting, every, you know, you got everything you want, you know. We ain't catching no hell. Everything going your way, you know. Things are not going our way because, for one, we're suffering for our sins. And that's what you got to keep in mind. Number two, the curses are pressed against us. Even though the Lord relieves certain curses because we repented, but them curses are still on you. And they're going to be there until the Lord removed them and put them on the heathen. All right? So... Sincerity, man. Sincerity is very key. So the word sincerity, sincerity, this is a Google search. The quality of being free from pretense, deceit, or hypocrisy. So I want to click on pretense. It says... Pretense. It. Pretense. It says, an attempt to make something that is not the case appear true. All right, so this is a liar. A lot of Jake, you know, uh, are pretense. An attempt to make something that is not the case appear true. You don't want to be pretense in the scriptures. You know, you want to stick to the script. You know, this is why it's important to study. Sincerity allows you to study. Because you have the urgency to teach. You have the passion to teach to tell the truth you know and you have the passion that and compassion upon your people you know because when we out there teaching and prophesizing that's that's compassion upon our people and jake look at it like it's hate or look at it you know we just cursing them out but that's actually love you know love is when you you get corrected you know love is well love is keeping the commandments Love is more of an action than just a feeling. You know, Jake, you know, especially females, they use that love real loosely. I love you, you know, and 
Yes, sometimes you do love someone because it's the feelings that you have for them. You know, in that case, you know, your parents, your family members, or your wife, your husband. But love is actually more of an action than it is a feeling. If you love someone, you don't have to tell them you love them. They know by your actions. Like, no, you know, you know your parents loved you. When you get older and you become a, a, an adult, the thoughts that in your head as an adult are not the same when you was a child. When you was a child, you got in trouble. You thought, you know, they get on my nerves. They always just want to punish me. They can't stand me. You know, you know, I want to leave. I hate being here. Can't wait to get my own place. You know, but then as you get older, like Paul, Apostle Paul said, he said, when I was a child, I thought as a child. When I was a adult, you think as an adult. So when you get older and you have your own children, you remember the things that you did that was that when you got in trouble. And then you call your, you know, in your mind, you're reflecting back and you, you're saying, man, I'm thankful for my parents, man. They really love me because they was looking out for me. I remember I got my ass whooped when I did whoop de woo whoop de woo You know, I remember I got on punishment and cursed out. That's love, man. You know? But Jake's so fucking hard-headed that they can't see through that because they're so wicked. And that's because their deeds are evil. As the scriptures say, their deeds are evil, man. So they can't see the light. Neither on this side do the Lord want them to come to the light, you know, for the two thirds, I might say, because there's a, a, a judgment coming for everyone. And that judgment can be a righteous reward or even a, a, a wicked reward. It's all rewards being handed out. All right. So it says pretense, the attempt to make something that is not the case appear true. It says a false display of feelings, attitudes. Or intentions you know you faking it like you're a brother and you ain't really your brother you know that's why the apostles you know big the elder bishops the big brothers they get on us brothers to make sure that you know when we in these camps and we holding it down you know to vet certain men you know and, and fill them out every brother's not a brother man you know and if you ain't coming sincere then get the fuck up out of here you know for real for the brotherhood not just for your favorites who you want to please you know who you want to please all the brothers that's 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 uh teaching the word of sincerity and truth these are the family this is the family man until they show otherwise until the lord reveal who the wicked is you know but for the most part we we try brothers man you know to see if a brother a brother and guess what it don't it don't just happen overnight you know because in our reality we ain't big on making new friends all right that's just how I am personally. I ain't big on making new friends, man. You know, I like the brothers who I'm with and the brothers who I've been knowing for the, for the longest. From the apostles, elders, and brothers on down, man. You know, new guys, you gotta, you gotta vet them. You gotta, you gotta scopio them. You don't know what time they on. You know? So, and then friends take years, man. You know a friend after you've been having experience with them, right? So pretense, it says a false display of feelings, attitudes, or intentions. You know, your fake ass feelings, man. You know, or your fake ass attitude acting like you, you know, one of the brothers, but you're not. And we just saw uh, an example of that recently with, uh, what's the dude named Adama? Uh, he ripping brothers off, you know, taking brothers money, charging brothers uh, different prices on garments, you know. And and uh, that was a nigga, you know. That's 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 some nigga shit to the world, man. But he brought that shit in the truth. He brought that, you know, into the fold. But the Lord quickly made work of him because we are in a time of judgment. Hopefully, Lord willing, the Lord activate Jacob's trouble, man. You know. So it says the practice of in, of of inventing imaginary situations in play. Wow. It says affected and ostentatious speech and behavior. Ostentatious. I never seen that before. The word ostentatious. Ostentatious. It says uh, characterized by vulgar. Uh, designed to impress or attract notice. Mm. Hold on here. Pretentious. It says uh, ostentatious 
characterized by vulgar or pretentious display designed to impress or attach notice or attach notice mm. okay so it says affect affected and ostentation speech and behavior it says they have always avoided uh, okay okay number two a claim especially a false or ambitious one you know so that's this just the definitions of pretense man and you don't want to be pretense we want to be sincere so sincerity the quality of being free from pretense deceit which are lies or hypocrisy you know you being a damn hypocrite you know saying one thing but doing the other or not living up to what you preach about you know that's a damn hypocrite man so we want to be sincere so let me do this sincere meaning here's the definition of sincere free from pretense or deceit proceeding from genuine feelings free from pretense once again or deceit proceeding from genuine feelings you mean you genuinely or uh, genuinely how you say it genuine you're genuine about this truth man those are the elect all right in our case we say hopeful elect it says or it says of a person saying what they genuinely feel or believe not dishonest or hypocritical all right so that's the word sincere so now let's grab a few matter of fact before i do that what is the literal literal meaning of sincerity the quality or state of being sincere honesty of mind Ooh, just simple honesty of mind being honest man you know be honest with yourself man in order to be honest with others you have to be honest with yourself a lot of uh, uh these israelite women are not honest with themselves and i'm using them as an example because a lot of women are not honest with themselves and that's why they go through a state of depression all right or they or they um you know they have uh, certain attitudes because they really not honest with themselves you know they holding in demons harvesting festering demons after demon after demon you know and when it comes to truth they ignore it they got pride and the one way you know to get rid of those demons is just tell the truth be honest with yourself if you got this type of flaw and problem correct it deal with it and correct it what did uh kevin sammy used to tell these women go to therapy you know go to therapy you know instead of looking for a man go get help first and then as when you good and correct your behavior then go seek for a man you know he was saying that a lot you know because women are um dishonest with themselves and men too certain men are you can't tell them shit you know same thing goes for the men you know so honesty it says the quality of being free oh wait hold on uh, what is the literal meaning of sincerity? The quality or state of being sincere. Honesty of mind. All right? Now, get it twisted. None of us brothers are perfect. Let me stress that. But guess what? We're striving for perfection. You know? You don't want to be no fake brother, man. All right? It says, what does sincerity person mean? What does a sincerity, a sincerity person mean? Sincerity is a mix of seriousness and honesty. Right? Seriousness and honesty. Right, so that's it. You know, I can keep going on and on. So let's grab a few precepts, and uh, these are some I just found through Google. So I'm gonna just read them, and hopefully, you know, they on point, and um, we all get edified. All right, this is uh, the book of Second Corinthians, chapter one. All right, in verse twelve, it says, "For our rejoicing is this, the testimony of our conscience, that in simplicity and godly sincerity, not." with fleshly wisdom but by the grace of the most high we have had our conversation in the world and more abundantly to you to you word so let's bring that back it says for our rejoicing is this the testimony of our conscience that in simplicity and godly sincerity so check that out godly sincerity man you know because it's one thing you know you can be sincere to men but could you be sincere to the most high all right you want to have godly sincerity and if you sincere to yahweh why yahweh shot yahweh shot you're going to be sincere to the brotherhood all right 
So it says with it says not with fleshly wisdom, right? But by the grace of the Most High, we have had our conversations in the world, and more abundantly to you word. For we write none other things unto you that that what you read or acknowledge, and I trust you shall acknowledge even to the end. As also ye have acknowledged us in part that we are your rejoicing, even as you also are ours in the day of the Lord Yahweh in the day of the Lord Yahweh. It says, And in this confidence I was minded to come unto you before, that ye might have a second benefit. Alright, I think that's the point. That's the point. I want to get the ones with the sincerity in it. You know, because this is Paul writing letters here, all right, to the church of Corinth. And that'll take you into other, you know, other situations here. So we want to stick on a topic. So, okay. And like I said, again, this is uh, just uh, some scriptures I got from Google. I haven't read them. Just pulled them up. They popped up. So I'm going to read them. And like I said, hopefully they're edifying to all of us, right? The scripture itself is edifying, but hopefully it's on point with the lesson. So this is John 14 and 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. This is Yahweh Shai speaking. He says, and I will pray the father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth. Uh oh, spirit of truth that goes into sincerity. It says whom the world cannot receive, right? Because the world of Israel cannot receive right now. Only the elect. Okay, only the elect of the Lord, the elect of Israel, right? The elect of the elect, all right? It says, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever, even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but you know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. So you see, that's the spirit of truth. Which is going in all of the things that, co that that comes in one. Sincerity, faith, fear of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. It's just in you, man. And what is called the spirit of truth. The word of Yahweh Shai, man. The Rakakwadash, the Holy Spirit is with you, man. You know? So, it says, verse, uh, verse 18. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more. But you see me because I live, you shall live also. All right. When we was in the world, we had a, uh, uh, an awakening. You know, when we heard this word, the Lord had the angel to unlock our mind and the spirit of truth was activated. You know, therefore, the Lord was from the beginning comforting us with, with what we needed to hear. That, look, we do have a kingdom. We are the Lord's chosen people. You know, we're not lost anymore. You know, I used to say the, the lost 12 tribes. Well, the 12 tribes are not lost. Well, technically, until the Lord gathered them together. But through the word, we've been founded. We've been gathered. All right. And I mean those of the elect. We say hopeful elect, but it's the elect. Because they're going to speak the same thing, man. They're going to speak the truth. 100% truth, man. Right? So it says, yet a little while and the world seeth me no more. But you see me because I live, you shall live also. At that day, you shall know that I am in my father and you in me and I in you, right? Meaning on one accord. We're going to abide in one accord. That's what we're doing now through the faith, through the word. All right. Until the Lord activate that new covenant. Wow. See? Black woman. You hear that? Wow. Woo. But anyway, um, almost lost train of thought. Lost my train of thought right there. That's Judah. Man. Uh, woo. Uh, so like, let me read the scripture again. It says, at that day. What the fuck? She just circling around the parking lot. Anyway. Anyway. Man. Uh, it says, verse 19. Uh, verse 20. At that day ye shall know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. He that hath my commandments, and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him, and will manifest my, myself to him. 
All right. No, I'm good. No, no, I'm good. All right. So, you know, uh, this is Satan over here. This girl riding around again. She just circling the block, yelling on the phone and shit. But um, that's the point, man. All right. Satan is out here, boy. You know, it's something about the black woman's spirit, the voice when they in that spirit. That shit agitates the fuck out of me, man. I've heard it so much, yo. I know that feeling, man. When you when you fucking uh going, you arguing and shit. And 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 the, and the devil and the woman, boy, woo. Anyway, you brothers know. I ain't gotta say it, y'all know. Um, Salakia, let me uh let me move on. This is a quick lesson. Matter of fact, that might be the lesson right there. So that's the point. The word sincerity, I'm pretty sure is other scriptures to get. If any of you brothers uh, watching please leave your precepts and comments and you can leave them on the comment board to help out in the lesson to edify those of the whole for elect that's what I got I want to make it quick and simple so Lord willing I pray you are edified I want to give all praises honor and glory to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rechah Kodash double honors to my apostles and elders here in Great Millstone who rule well salutations to the Lord's elect Shalom